And turning to other news, the Dai County government has been rocked by a major case of alleged graft. About 150 investigators searched offices and homes of officials as high as the current and former county commissioners. They suspect bribery and bidding related to a biotech park BOT project, but the county government accuses them of simply targeting the DPP. Investigators suspect corruption was at play in a biotechnology venture led by Jai County government. They launched a massive search today in cooperation with the director of the Jai Land Administration Department, who was considered a witness. Investigators in charge of the case come from both the Kaohsiung and Jai District Prosecutor's offices. Among those questioned include Jai County Commissioner Helen Zhang, Legislator Chen Ming Wen, who was also a former county commissioner, and former Deputy Minister of the Council for Economic Planning and Development, John Jing Sen. They were questioned at Tai Zhong's Investigation Bureau. Another 60 plus people were questioned in Nanto and Kaohsiung. Jai Herbs Biotechnology Park is one of five major biotech parks launched by the Council of Agriculture. It is a BOT project, with the government and contractor each investing 1.5 billion NT dollars. Investigators suspect that to win the contract, the Chuenlong company paid bribes of up to 10 million NT dollars. Money was apparently passed from the company's executives or went through their children or another third party. The county government accuses investigators of having ulterior motives. Due to the timing and scale of the investigation launched, the county government feels investigators have ulterior motives. Like the Ling Yishi case, they are trying to squeeze out everything they can. We even wonder if they have a political motive to balance out the Ling Yishi case. As the KMT deals with a major bribery scandal, the DPP now has problems of its own.